in the repair shop today. Clockmaker Steve's expertise is called on to get a clock striking sweetly again. <laughs> that sounds awful. While a beloved childhood toy gets a much needed overhaul. I've only got remnants to go by, so I'm really having to go freehand with this. This morning, the repair shop has taken delivery of a mystery item. This is something for me. I can't have a look yet. No, it is something for you. You know, it's what, relax. <laughs> something for me. It's the oldest piece that has ever come into the workshop, and furniture aficionado Will is itching to get his hands on the goods. Seems quite small. Usually it's like a massive it's chest. It's good like that a it's small so you can get the job. the job done and dusted. Yeah? Are, are well, you, you already giving me grief be before I've even seen it? Well, let's wait and see. The proud owners are Nicola and Roger Mackay from Somerset. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? You all right? Yeah, thank I'm you. Jane. I'm Nikki. Hi, Nikki. I'm Roger. So, what do we have here then? It's a desk. Okay. Do you want to take the cover off to have a look at yeah, it? Yeah, of course. Wow. Ah. It's a lovely piece. It's a really nice piece. I presume it's early Georgian 1700s. It's been in the family, right. I am told, from new. From new? 300, 300 years, years this has yes. been in the family. It's been passed down the female line. So it came to me from my mother and to her from her mother. And so on and so forth. And so on back. So once it's been restored, who is this going to go to then? We well, only had a son, so it will go to his elder daughter, our older granddaughter. Oh, brilliant. And her name's uh, Charlotte. How old is Charlotte now? She'll be nine next month, right. so it'll be a long time, I hope, before she gets <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, a very long time, yeah. But I'd like her to have it looking a little bit tidier than it does now. <laughs> right. The poor old thing has had all sorts of knocks, particularly to the veneer. Yeah, you can see where the woodworm's yeah. been chewing yes, away. Yeah, there's little nicks and... Uh, I'd love it to look like a cherished old lady, not like a brand new piece because yeah. it's not and it, it shouldn't look like that yeah. but like it's been cared for rather than knocked about a bit of TLC yes. Yeah. Yes. a bit of TLC yeah. but for 300 years old this is done really well don't you think so well seems to be structurally I think sound I think, yeah, first. I think so yes. it doesn't wobble anywhere no. or no. it's done really well and it's really nice that it's a piece of furniture that's actually been used mm. I see so many pieces where Everybody's afraid to touch it. And you can see ink stains yes, and all scratches, sorts of scratches yeah, and everything else. I can see it. someone hasn't been using a coffee coaster. Mm. I'm not pointing <laughs> any fingers, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know. Well, thank you for bringing it along. If you leave it with us, as soon as Will has worked his magic, we'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. If the desk could only tell us who's done their homework on it, or has drawn pictures on it, it's a piece that I hope will go through the family for many years to come. This would be a nice job. Nice, nice. quick job, because it's a small it. desk. <laughs> you can handle this, can't you? I can handle this. So, what are you going to do? Um, this is going to be my main problem here. The woodworm. I think I might actually replace that entire corner there. Cool. Um, give it a good old clean, and then a polish, but not too shiny. All right, so you can take this to your desk. But so me? Of course you can. But Big boy like you. Yeah. There's a lot of work to do here. This desk may have been made over 150 years before the light bulb was invented, but it's up to Will to get it shining again. Lots of veneer missing um, and lots of woodworm, so... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to work out what my first move is. Much of the furniture from this era was embellished with a wafer-thin layer of exotic wood, like mahogany and walnut. It's this decorative veneer that needs to be replaced. The veneer is really thick in areas, so I'm not sure if I have anything thick enough in my box. Even if Will does manage to find good match veneers, he can't just start sticking them straight onto the desk. What you don't want to do is replace solid wood onto woodworm wood because 
wood run wood because um, it's going to be far too soft for that solid wood to glue onto. So it's a case of just going around to test what's soft, what's rotten, what's chewed up and what can and can't be used. So I actually use my fingernail just to tap around the edges of the veneer and what you will hear is, I don't know if you can hear that, so that sound there, that would suggest that that piece of veneer is loose. After treating and then filling wood rotted by woodworm, we'll fit the new veneers. Now all he's got to do is keep them there while they dry. It would be really hard to get a clamp on the end there. So I've held them in place with some wood glue and a bit of masking tape. So there's a lot of work to do here, but once I've finished, you won't see the patches that I've replaced. Next into the repair shop, Pam Edwards, with a jumbo challenge for the team, particularly for Toy and Teddy restoration duo, <laughs> Julie and Amanda. Hello. Hi, you must be Pam. I'm Julie. Hello, Julie. Oh, and here Hi, he Pam, is. I'm Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Hello. Isn't he gorgeous? Hello. Would you like to well, tell us a bit about him? My dad bought him for me when I was about two or three, I understand. I'd never seen an elephant. We hadn't got television, and when my father brought him in, I said, oh, Daddy, what a big mouse. Oh, wow. Sorry. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, and so, Pam, what memories do you have of him? Loads. But I do remember on a Thursday afternoon when we went to tea at my Auntie Alice's, insisting on taking this with us. Her house was the other side of our small town, but I insisted on taking this with my mother pulling, not really wanting to. But he's had such a rough time. You know, he's been played with outside, on his side, upside down. From a, a sort of sentimental point of view, he is incredibly special. He is indeed, because um, when I pack my mother's house up, mm. um, that's when you start sorting through your childhood things, isn't it? Yeah. And although the dolls went, mm. he didn't, you know. He's got most of his original features. Mm -hmm. I think possibly my mother did a recover job here. Did he ever have ears when you had him? He had ears when I had him. A couple of elephant ears. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! So you haven't got to make new ears. No! Fantastic. Which oh, way round they go? I don't know. Don't worry, don't we'll worry, work we'll it out. That out. Yeah. I've been afraid to have him restored. I thought he might end up looking too new. Yes. Just needs a bit of... TLC. Yeah, he's yes. very bald here because he's been sat on, hasn't yeah. he? But that's not something um, that we worry about too much. We don't want to put new fur back on him mm. because it wouldn't suit him mm. if, in, you know, of his age. Um, I think actually he's a little, like you said, you had him as a child. Yeah. He's a little older, I think, mm. about 1910, something like that. Thank you for leaving him with us. We will do our best to make a wonderful job of him I'm for you sure and you'll be you proud will. of him. Thank you very so, much indeed. Bye bye you. then. Don't worry, we'll look bye after bye. him. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm feeling quite emotional about it, remembering happy days when I played with the elephant. Isn't he lovely? He is, and I can't wait to get started on him. I think for his sake and mine, it would be wonderful to see him come to life again. Let's get his ears back in place. Yep, new eyes. A pair of tusks. Tusks, definitely tusks. And yeah. I think we need to check a little bit here what's going yeah. on, where he's been dragged along the floor. I think the frame's probably fine. My main concern is under here, whether yeah. this is kind of stuck to him. Yeah. Um, whether we're going to be able to remove that without causing mm. him damage, that's something we're going to have to really look into. Yeah. We should give him a name. OK, what do you think? Let's call him Mouse. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Come on. Come on, mouse. <laughs> They've got a mammoth job on their hands, starting with removing the elephant's existing moth-eaten felt accessories. i just show you this, what I found. OK. He might have had a bell hanging down yeah. here. This thread suggesting it, it yeah, yeah. was there, and maybe something in the middle of his forehead. That'd be really good if we could find something. Bell, that yeah. lovely, I have seen it? them. The original saddle was stuck straight onto the elephant's back, and to remove it, they risk removing its fur too. So it's slow and meticulous work picking it off thread by thread. How are you getting on? Yeah, it's painstaking, but it's literally, well, like you, tiny, tiny little nicks, you know, at a time, so as not to damage anything underneath there. 
and hopefully once we get it all off and clean it, it'll give you a nice service to put the new yeah. the new saddle on. And there, there we go. go. Ladies. Hi, Will. Hi. What is it? <laughs> this is a mouse. That's a big mouse. <laughs> this is Mouse the Elephant. Oh, Mouse the Elephant. Yeah. He's giving me a handsome chat when he's done. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Nice little wheels. He's yeah. fabulous. We were going to ask you about the wheels, actually. We just <laughs> wondered <laughs> if maybe... Maybe... Once he's us. done, we wondered if you might be able to perhaps oil the wheels. I think I can help. Brilliant. Let me know when you're near the end we'll and I'll have a look at the wheels. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, cool. Will. Will. Bye. Hidden in attics and cupboards across the country, Britain's dusty and dilapidated objects are waiting to be given new life by the repair shop experts. Meanwhile, the youngest member of the team is tackling the repair shop's oldest ever assignment, a 300-year-old desk. Having fallen foul of some very hungry woodworm, Will's had to completely rebuild one corner. Up here was probably the worst part, that corner, which is totally shredded by woodworm, so there's nothing left. And instead of using, like, a filler to pack it out and then shape it in, I thought it'd be really nice to use some solid walnut, um, glue it back on. So that's the new corner there, and that's the old one there. Would you mind giving me a hand? No I'll worries. the table down there. OK, that's it. With a solid corner in place, Will now has to replicate the original shape, carving it by hand. Next, time to unveil his repaired veneers, which have been taped up to hold them in place. So, I, I've glued all the missing bits of veneer back, so I'm just checking the masking tape now to make sure everything's dry properly. The aim is to make the veneer repairs invisible, so just one bit of wayward gluing could spell disaster. That looks really good. That looks really good. It's all really solid, all really well glued on. Really happy so far. Really happy. The replacement veneers now need to be colour matched and blended into the 300 year old piece, including that brand new corner. Hey, Steve. It's looking good. Looking good. You are an artist. Stop it. So, how much more is there to do? Just, just, just this bit, bit of a polish off. And then polish off, a wax, handles back on. I better leave you to it. Thanks a lot, Steve. The next item to arrive at the workshop belongs to Robert and Tessa Du from Sussex. Robert, very nice to meet you. Hi, Tessa. Hello, I'm Kirsten. And what have you brought for We us? brought a French bill clock. Ah, you need to meet Steve. Steve? This job calls for the expert eye and hands of resident horologist Steve. Right, OK, let's have a look at this. It's rather nice. It is, it is. It's very nice. So tell me, who did this belong to? Originally, it was my grandmother's. And then when she died, my mother inherited it. Yeah. And then when mother died in 2000, um, I inherited it. And, I mean, mother cherished it all her life. You know, it's, it's one of her things that really meant a lot to her. Right. So, I mean, you know, I couldn't part with it. This is a, a reproduction uh, made in Victorian times um, of a Louis XVI clock. So what's your earliest memory of, of, of the clock? I can remember as a small child, when I used to go and visit Granny, bearing in mind a very Victorian lady, right. where small children should be seen and not heard, ah. being told to just sort of stand away and look at it, not to touch oh. it in case you damage it. <laughs> yeah. So consequently, I've always been a little bit wary of it. But, I mean, it, it used to have a lovely chime to the effect of basically, obviously, chiming the hours, and then on, on the half... I think it possibly chimed on the half hour Just a single well. strike on the half, that's yeah. right. Has it been working all that time? No, no. My mother did get it working in the mid-60s, um, but unfortunately, I think it got overwhelmed. It's never worked since. OK, people always think um, there's such thing as, as overwinding a, a clock, but there's not, unless you were to really 
force the last click at it and break the mainspring. So whoever it was that wound it, they're off the hook. They haven't overwound it. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. That's a relief, anyhow. Ah. So there is some life there, which yeah. is good. If you'd like to leave it with us, I'll overhaul the movement, get it all looking absolutely beautiful for you. I will polish that up, and then I'll put a coating of um, shellac lacquer on it, and that'll just protect it. Oh, like the nail varnish, the shellac. Uh, I don't know anything about <laughs> nail varnish, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's going to be lovely to have it back on it in pride of place again. Excellent. Oh, lovely. And do you have grandchildren at all that oh, perhaps yes. come and stand? And <laughs> and I'm afraid it's probably going to be a very much a bit of sort of you can look but, but don't, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for bringing it in. Well, thank, thank you. you. This means an awful lot to me, the clock, because, I mean, it's something, but as I say, I've grown up with all my life. It's going to be absolutely brilliant to have it again working and everything. It means too much to me. So what a lovely clock. Isn't it pretty? They are really nice clocks. Once I've, um, once I've polished all this up, mm -hmm. it's going to look stunning. Great. Got to remove all these mounts and then uh, polish up the brasswork. Um, OK. And then lacquer it, and that'll look beautiful. I, I haven't taken the mechanism out yet, so I don't know if there are ma any major issues, but right. um, uh, fingers crossed there won't be. Lovely. What I'm going to do now is just pop the uh, mechanism out. With the clock job broken down into two parts, the mechanism and the outer case, Steve can turn his attention to the ornate marquetry, known as bullwork which is achieved by layering and inlaying brass over tortoise shell. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm just taking the uh, uh, gilt mounts off of the, the case so that I can then get to the, the, the bulwark and uh, do the repairs to it before I polish it up. Bulwark was invented by Andre Charles Boulle, a cabinet maker in the court of Louis XVI, and was much mimicked by the craftsmen of the Victorian age. These clocks were built beautifully. Um, all this uh, bull work is, is absolutely superb. Late Victorian clocks were built at a time when the um, craftsmen were just amazing. I feel honoured that I'm, I'm working on bits that, that real craftsmen have worked on in the past. It's all right for some taking the tea break. Yeah, well, got to, haven't I? <laughs> Got all the work. What are you doing here, then? This brass work here has, has dulled down, and, and the whole thing should be shiny, and, and it, they look great when they're all done up. This is the clock that goes in it. Wow! Now, look at that. Wow, that is heavy, though, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot to it. You need to do your magic on there as well, didn't you? Yeah, the clock, I need to strip that down, give it a complete overhaul. Uh, once I've done that, the movement will look great as well. So you'll have this done by lunchtime, yeah? Do you reckon? <laughs> You've got a lot to get on with. I've got to make up a tea. I know, you've got to finish your tea. I'll go and make myself one. Over on Amanda and Julie's workbench... It's this fiddly bit. They are getting to grips with a much-loved toy. Now we've got them upside down, we can see really clearly where the tusks are going to fit. Yeah. And I'm absolutely thrilled to see that remnant of felt. Yes, yes, so we know they were felt. Um, the tusk. Um, it's a trunk, not a tusk. Not a tusk. It's, it's a tusk. Um, I've been looking at it, it is quite complex. It's quite, it's really intricate. The detail's really good, actually. Yeah, and I this like, little bit here yeah. is amazing. So if I get on and do, like, the repairs, yeah. as it were, you can... I'll do all the extra bits. OK. Julie's task is to make faithful copies of the elephant's threadbare accessories. There we go. Starting with the headdress. Meanwhile, Amanda's got a hands full with the elephant's rear end. His tail's got to come off. It's been um, crudely stitched on at, from a previous repair, and the, this part of it here is really weak. Um, so I've got to really, really carefully snip it um, to get it off. But it looked much better when I finished. There you go. There's his tail, and this is the piece that we need to repair. There's a lot of sewing to do. 
Then after a good hoovering, the pamper sessions continue, reviving the elephant's fur. The saddle, I've only got remnants to go by, so I'm really having to go freehand with this. And I'm using the same style, and hopefully the two will look, look quite good next to each other. And I'm really pleased with the coloration. I think we've managed to, to not have it looking too bright, too new. It's going to look really good when it's all put back together. Hmm. Amanda can now turn her attention to reconstructing the elephant's trunk. This piece is going to slide on here, like so. So the inside here will be all red, and this part will be the rest of his trunk, and it, which kind of curls around where they catch their peanuts. How we doing, ladies? Hiya. Oh, hi, Jay. This is Mouse. Mouse the elephant. Mouse the elephant? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> OK. That's his hat. <laughs> really? Yeah. Julie done a brilliant job on that. Oh, this is the one you've made? This is not yeah, the original? Yeah, yeah, no, the original's here. Oh, I'm with you. Did you stitch all that? Yeah, should I I did. You have many <laughs> talents, haven't you? This will be on the head, and then what have you got on there, then? You've got, what is this, saddle. the saddle? Yeah, so then you'll have a saddle. Voila. Ah. Oh. Ears will go back on. He's got new tusks. We've made him new tusks. Yeah, yeah you do need tusks on an elephant that's called mouse, yeah. Get... And the ears, <laughs> the ears go in here. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So ears. And you've made new ears for that, and then the tusks. No, this was at... the original ear, but we've just relined them. Relined. So that's the bit that you put on. That's yeah. the... So that's the old bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And obviously it's like that, isn't it? The red. No, the red goes to the front. Is it? That mm -hmm. way? Otherwise, yeah. he wouldn't be able to hear in front of him. So you lot are clever, aren't you? All right. So what right have you again. got left to do on this thing? You've got loads left? We've got some filling. There's the odd um, darn to do on him. OK. What he about is, eyes? Has he got eyes? He's, yeah, we've got yeah. his eyes already Where's here. his eyes, then? And they oh. go in about here. Just pop it in. I could pop it in? You just poke you it You trust on. me? Just poke it in so you can see what he's going to look like. Oh, cool. That looks smart now, doesn't it? It brings his face alive, doesn't it? Ears. And you're saying the red goes, the red goes on the outside? Yeah. Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure? Yes. <laughs> I'm not it too will sure have, about you. It Yeah, but he'd only be able to hear behind him, wouldn't he, if it was that way? Blends from behind. So he can hear from behind, <laughs> but he can't hear from... All right. I'll get you. I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm out of here. All right. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. Having repaired 300 years' worth of wear and tear on the Georgian desk, it's time for Will to get the wood back to its former glory. So I'm working on Nicola's desk. I'm just giving it a bit of a clean now. The surface is pretty dirty. People sort of think to clean a piece of furniture, all I need to do is sort of give it a dry wipe and then a wax over some beeswax. If you're not cleaning it properly, that that wax will make a protective barrier over the dirt, and so then you sort of get these layers and layers and layers of dirt, which is what you have here. You can see the before and after, and what a difference just cleaning it with um, this rag is made. And I'm not actually using an abrasive material, it's just a cloth with um, a bit of white spirit and a bit of turpentine. That's come up really well. Once it's polished, it's going to look wonderful. I'm sure Nicholas can be so pleased with this. Steve's been renovating a Victorian bull clock that hasn't ticked for over 15 years. So I'm just going to take out these taper pins. He's going to break the clock mechanism down to its hundreds of components. But this one isn't giving up the ghost that easily. The last person to put this clock together must have uh, been built like an athlete because they screwed in all the screws, everything really, really tightly. There we are. And that's come off sweetly. So um, this is the point where I take off parts one by one and check them through for any damage. Um, and because they may have bent teeth, I have to check every single tooth um, of the clock to make sure that none of them are bent. Just one tiny tooth can hold the whole mechanism. You get quite used to doing this and identifying even the slightest bend in the teeth. One hour later, Steve hits the jackpot. I've actually found a, a bent tooth. 
it would have had a major um, effect on the, the, the working of the strike mechanism. So um, that's brilliant that I found that, and I've just got to straighten it up, and that will help the mechanism hugely. Troublesome cog fixed. Steve can begin to rebuild the hundreds of components. I've just got to a point now where I can get the mechanism together. I've, I've cleaned all the clock up, um, done it all by hand. I oil it, and then it should be absolutely fine then for a good 10 years. We try not to touch any of the parts by hand um, because they, the, 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 the actual uh, acids in your sweat can actually make an imprint into the, the brass after a while. It's just bad practice, really. We'll just wind up the actual ticking part of the mechanism. And all the wheels are turning nicely. It's the first time this clock has ticked for over 15 years. So that's all set up beautifully, so I can now proceed in, in getting the rest of the clock up together. Bear repair team Julie and Amanda have had their hands full, restoring a 20th century toy back to its former glory. Mind your fingers, because I'm coming right through. <sighs> but the end is in sight. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go. There we go. However, the battered pull-along frame upon which Mouse is mounted may be more than these seamstresses' hands can handle. I'll call Will about the wheels. Will? 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 That looks amazing. Thank you. That really looks amazing. And the tusks as well. That is incredible. The wheel on, on that side, on Amanda's side, keeps popping off. It's something to do with the metal. OK, well, if it's metal, I'd say Steve okay. would be the man for that, as I'm the woodman. Once... If Steve can get the wheel back on, I can wax it. Fab. And, That's what we want. And, and be like the cherry on the top of the elephant, whatever. Okay. It looks amazing. And that'll be him finished then. Yeah. I heard my name. Hello. Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve. Uh, we yeah. need your Bernie. help. Go on. We've lost a wheel, basically. It's, it's, no, we haven't lost it. It's just come off. Right. But I think this needs to be flanged out here. Sorry? Flanged out. Flange? Flange? Are we going like that? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Isn't it? Yeah. Flan flanged out sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You get a bit of oil in the yes. wheels yeah. as well, and then I'll just wax them. Okay. okay. Will you make a really, really good job of them? Really uh, good job. Yeah, yeah really <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> One swift service later, and Mouse is roadworthy again. And with Pam the Elephant's owner on her way to collect him, Amanda and Julie have got a final little surprise up their sleeve. Jay? Hello. Can you come over and see Mouse? I'll see Mouse? Yeah, before he goes home. Have you sorted out his ears, though? Have a look. See what <laughs> you think. See if we were right. Oh, I'm going to let you have it. You are right. Thank you. You are right. It does look good. Thank you. No, it looks more than good. It looks amazing. What about, is there any other detail that you particularly like about him? All right, you're looking for a compliment. Well, you know, just, just <laughs> have a little look and see if there's anything. Oh, wow. No, really, is that a peanut? <laughs> 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 it is a peanut, isn't it? <laughs> got a peanut in him. All right, now, that's a nice touch. He didn't have a peanut, though, did no, he? No. All right, now, that is cool. It's a bit cool. of fun. I do like that. Let's hope the elephant's added accessories meet the approval of owner Pam. All right at the front? Yeah, okay. absolutely perfect. Who's arrived to be reunited with her childhood companion. Ah. Oh. Hello, it must be Pam. Hello. You all right? Yeah, yes, I'm fine, thank all you. Right. Come along. Hi, Hi Pam. Pam. Welcome Hello. back. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Are good, you good. I'm getting a bit excited. I'm getting a bit you? excited, maybe a bit nervous. Hugely nervous. And oh. oh, bless you. What's under that cover? I hope you're going to be really pleased. We're really excited about him and we're really pleased with him. Very quickly. And very hard, I'm sure. Are you ready? I think I'm ready, okay. yes. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Sorry. 
Yeah. 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 He's got tusks. He's got tusks. Yeah, he is. Right. He's wonderful. Obviously, he's got some new eyes, but they're actually some vintage eyes. Doesn't it give him character? Yes, yeah, absolutely. as soon as you put those eyes in, yes. he comes mm, alive. He's looking at you. And he's yeah. just, I think everyone here has fallen in love with him. <laughs> you and can't I, have him. <laughs> no, he's, he's sorely missed as well, because oh, he's, yeah, he's just yeah. such a character. Well, thank you for the tusks. He looks, he looks proud again, doesn't he? And so, he's got a little something to take home with him. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky elephant. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just overwhelmed. It's just so... It's beautiful. My oh, pleasure. Great. Really He's very, very much so. It's been a pleasure. Okay. And for me too. Thank yeah, thank you so much. There you go. I could not believe what they'd done to him. They truly are wonderful women. I felt so sorry for him, now seeing how wonderful he looks now. I feel sorry for how he was before, so... He's just beautiful. He's, he's still the 1910 elephant we think he is, uh, but he's just glorious. He's been restored, but he hasn't been spoiled. The repair shop team take on and transform cherished possessions great and small. And resident horologist Steve has been doing just that on a Victorian Boole clock. He's been working on the ornate case which has been dulled through years of dust and dirt. So I've cleaned all this spool work up with um, cotton wool and uh, a brass cleaning fluid. I wasn't going to clean these mounts up at all, uh, but I decided in the end I would because they looked a little dull, so I gave them a quick dip in, in a clock cleaning fluid, took them out, brushed them up, and I've uh, lacquered the whole of the, the case now with um, a shellac-based lacquer. I don't want to break this glass, because that's a real pain to get it cut the right size. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They look absolutely stunning when they're done up. So I've just got to the final stage now. I've attached the dial and hands to the mechanism, so it's all ready just to pop into the, uh, the clock. I really like this part. And I've just got to line up the, uh, the movement. I'm going to just hang the pendulum on, see if it's ticking nice and evenly. Perfect. The pendulum will actually regulate the speed of the tick. That's why a pendulum is critical to a clock, because it actually does regulate the speed of the clock. So I've just got to pop the gong on there, make sure that's all set up, and then it's all done, apart from testing it. The clock's been silent for decades, so it's crucial that the evocative sound of its strike is brought faithfully back to life. <laughs> that sounds awful. There's something vibrating. I'll have to suss why that's doing that. Just going to move the gong block slightly. Hopefully that's going to stop that noise from happening. But time is ticking away for Steve. Owner Robert is on his way to collect his mother's cherished clock. This is Tessa. How you doing, Tessa? Hello, you all right? good. Come Thank your you. clock, right? Yes. In you come, then. Good day. Steve, you got a clock? I have. Ooh. There we go. Right. Do you remember what it looked like before? Um, it had lacked its luster on the outside. Oh, right. It wasn't um, working. It wasn't working? OK. Let's have a look what you've done, Steve. Oh, oh my <gasps> God. How's that? Oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Hasn't it come up well? That's exquisite. Yeah. I'm really, really pleased oh. how it's come up. Yeah. It's got a lovely shine to it. It's wonderful. It must have taken you hours. Yeah. It took me a fair while. <laughs> it's absolutely yeah. fantastic. I've never known it looking so stunning, actually. It's really brought the um, tortoiseshell out. Mm. 
So what would Mum think of this now, Nick? Uh, Mum would be absolutely lost for words completely. Yeah. She'd have loved to have seen this. Yeah. So the strike, that means it's going to make a noise? It is. Robert last heard this chime 20 years ago. Oh, that's lovely. lovely. Oh. Oh, it's got a lovely tone. Ooh. Can we have a look at the back? And... Of course you can. Oh, my. Looks almost as if it's brand new, Steve. <laughs> You're fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really, words can't say how pleased I am. Do you know, it, 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 it makes what I do so worthwhile when people like yourselves oh. appreciate what I've done. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Right, and I'll leave you in the capable hands of Steve. I'm going to make sure he gets a biscuit, because he's done a brilliant job on this one. <laughs> We've got to watch his waistline. I can't give him too many biscuits. All right? I'll see you before you go. Okay. I'll just go and get the box for you. Overwhelmed. Totally. Steve's done an amazing job. Absolutely incredible. The clock has got a new life. So, we're, we're, you know, we'll be so proud of it. Thank you very much for bringing it in. That was a real pleasure to do. Don't go and drop it now, will you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> be difficult. <laughs> Thanks to Steve's care and craftsmanship, this family heirloom has been rescued and preserved for years to come. My thoughts are really how much Mother would appreciate how beautiful it looks, because, I mean, she would have never seen it like that in all, its, all her life, but she knew it. It's brought back some lovely memories of Robert's mother. When the clock sits there and strikes again, obviously he's going, just going to rethink of her sitting near it. To have it back and have it back so brilliantly working is just, as I say, phenomenal. Steve's work may be done for the day, but Will's still toiling away on the 300-year-old desk. That's looking good. It's pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's ready to go. Nick is going to be here any minute. What about the escutcheon that's hanging off there? Come on. It's... D no, it's, no it's, excuses. It's I just put no it on the excuses. table that I can now see this. When ah. it's on the floor, it's hard to see. OK, I'll let you off then. Uh, hold on, let me get... Better hurry up. Let's get some pens. With this treasured antique looking good as new again, the repair shop experts gather to admire Will's handiwork. Hi, Will. Hi. Hi, Will. God, it's beautiful. <laughs> what a gorgeous colour. It's been a pleasure to work on, and um, to know that it's been in the family for 300 years, it's quite nice to Oops. keep it going for another three, 300 years. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think that Fancy. deserves a round of applause. Yeah. A round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. It's normally Will that starts off. So I'm going to start it off this time. So well done, Will. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Uh, well done. Uh, <laughs> You've done good, but you missed a bit over there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, All right, yeah. back to work. It will be very exciting and a little bit scary almost to see how it is now because I've never seen it looking not exactly like new but like it should. I wanted very much to pass it on to the next generation looking loved rather than knocked about. Hi. Hello. Hello. Lovely nice to, to see, see you again. Nice to see you. Nice How are you? Nice to see you again. I'm in, I'm in. You ready for this? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. You ready? <laughs> yes, very excited. So what was it like when you brought it in? Do you remember? It was looking old. It was looking old, yeah. So has it been a challenge? Yes. It's been a challenge. <laughs> so, do you know what? I, I really enjoyed working on this. Yeah. I just hope you've done everything yeah. that they wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You sure they want to take you back to your bench? No. <laughs> OK. Ready? OK. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's wonderful. The colours, it's so much richer, so much deeper. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yes. <laughs> and the, the top was so dead and you've, you've did... got the colour back. And I've replaced that corner with um, solid walnut. I always wished as a 
child at school that I could do the woodwork with the boys, yeah. not needlework with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel to see this fully restored now? I can't believe that it's the same desk. I can't get over how, how good it is. <laughs> how good it feels. I didn't sand it back or anything. I, I just gave it a really good clean. So even leaving some of these really old ring marks yes. is actually all part of its character. It, it, it's beautiful. You've done a, an, a, an amazing job. I'm, I'm, I can't tell you how pleased but I am. Well done, Will. Hey? Uh, so what would Mum think of it in its current state now, then? I don't, think? I don't think she'd recognise it. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother would be very proud of the fact that you've actually had this restored and... I hope she would. Yeah. I hope she would. And most importantly, we will be passing it down the family in a better state than yeah, when it came it. to us. Came to you. <laughs> yes. So what I'll do is we'll get this wrapped up for you and get it sent to you. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's all Will. Will did all the work. Yeah, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. You. <laughs> <laughs> right. The desk is... I'm amazed at how wonderfully it has come up. The result that Will managed to get it's quite beyond what I'd ever imagined. The colour's quite transformed. All the nicks and the chips in the veneer are all gone. And the front corner that was so badly damaged, you'd never know if anything had ever been wrong with it. I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. Our granddaughter, Charlotte, doesn't know too much about it at the moment. She's only nine, but as she gets older, we're sure that she'll come to appreciate the desk as the family heirloom that it is.